All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. We have the Bergfeld Rocket Team over there. Here we have another member of the team along with me. And we're doing a full rocket launch today, testing out some new features. Um, one of the things we'll be testing out is this new very thin um, launch rail, very thin, very stiff, and some uh, alternative recovery. We'll see how it works out. All right, this is the first rocket. Um, which will go very high because we have gotten rid of all those bad batch of bees. So we're not doing bees, we're just doing C's. All right, this is a hydrogen with a C. Should go about 1,400 feet. Go. Three, two, one. Six seconds. Nice clear day. Yeah. It's ballistic. Oh yeah, it is. Oh. Oof. <laughs> wow. All right, here we are with CSI rocket, and let's see what's happened. We'll pull it out and. There you go. So my hypothesis is no it's first collision, but because there is a very thick and hard it is layer of ice. Definitely no first collision. On the ground it didn't pierce as it ordinarily would. Now in the springtime, this rocket would literally have vanished into the earth. Into the earth. Now what we've got here is a failure to deploy. Indeed. Alright. One failure to deploy. Bummer. Crash. Here is the rocket that we're calling helium. And this one is going to go about 1,325 feet with a sea rocket. It has the new deployment mechanism. We'll see how this one works. Three, two, one. Wow. Really fast. It deployed. Now uh, we're going to see what the wind's going to do. Of course, the wind picks up just now. Really good deployment. Really drifting. I think it's a tree. I do think it's a tree. Maybe it'll clear the trees. It won't. All right, we're hooking this one up. This one is named Nix. It is about 400 millimeters long. It could go quite high, in fact, with a C6, about 1,200 feet. Again, we're testing some of the recovery methods. So far, one dot work, one did work. We'll see how this one is. Really good. It's already drifting. Oh and it's deployed. That's great. And it's hopefully we'll make it to the far field. Jeez, it's drifting like crazy. Must be windy up there. There she goes. I think it is gonna clear. All right, this one is Erebus. Erebus is a new design, new naming culture. Only 860 feet with a sea rocket. Again, it has the new deployment. If one falls close enough, I'll show you what that comprises. Three, two, one. <laughs> uh, 
that's better. It deployed, oh my God. There it goes. That worked. Didn't go as high, of course, we do that. Casper, you might be able to get that one. Oh yeah. Of course, trampling the rocket does ruin its recoverability. Anyway, nice Casper. Very nice. Especially with the oh, ice. Especially with the Oh, just broke a fin, looks like. So here is a feature of the deployment mechanism. Sheldon Bird, if you're watching, this was your suggestion. Right here, that little cup on this side of the rocket. That worked. We have other ones that have the cup in different places, so we'll test those out. Good recovery. Mm. All right, this rocket is named Chaos with the new uh, deployment system and kind of a dodgy, uh, dodgy top. So we'll see how it goes. We expect it to go quite high. Three, two, one. Little squirrely. squirrely. Very high. Whoa. Oh, Good deployment. Well, it might be in this field. Nope. Tree. Yay! Okay, that one is recoverable. We'll pick it up at the end of the show. All right, this one has the new recovery system, has the old naming convention, so we're going to call this one Nitrogen. We've moved up to the D-sized rocket, so the small Ds. It's a D-16-4, 18 millimeter, probably only go about a thousand feet due to its fatness. Three, two, one. That one stuttered on me. Oh, it's a jet plane. All right. Do not deploy. And poof. Well, you can hear it. Trees and, dis and disturbing crashing sounds. Sorry about my shadow. This is another D16. This one's called Oxygen, about a thousand feet. You can see we have sort of a doorknob uh, top. And I think the launch rod is working really well. Very fantastic. Oh. Three, two, one. Wow! Pretty straight. Yeah. And it deployed. Good deal. So far, only two failures. I think it will be recoverable. Hi. Okay. Recoverable, all right. Nice. That's the most number of uh, successful recovery deployments I we have ever had. We've no, only had here. two not deploy. All right, this is Neon on the old naming convention. This is a D-12-7. 24 millimeter rocket, much more powerful than the D16-6, which is an 18 millimeter rocket. Um, and this is gonna go pretty high. As you can see, it's quite tall. All right. He does a famous movie. Three, two, one. Oh! 
gosh. Wow, man. It's, uh-oh. Uh, it has deployed, sort of. Watch out, because it might go ballistic. It's still, yeah, it's still together. Wow. It's tumbling. Well, I think it made it to the field, but it didn't deploy and it didn't go ballistic, so that might be in more than only two or three pieces. <laughs> All right, here is old naming convention fluorine. It has a doorknob handle. It also has an asynchronous fin design, so they're slightly different, um, but it should be stable based on the math. Let's see if the math lets us down. Pretty stable. Yeah. Deployed, yeah. yay! Wow, it's really blowing up there. Here it comes. Really close. Yep. There it is. Oh! <laughs> wow! Very good. Wow. All together, babe. I mean, is it missing a piece? I don't think so. Excellent! Yay! I have a theory. All right, this is a sodium old naming convention. You can see how it's quite tall. It's, you know, it's a meter, right? Um, another D rocket. So let's see how she goes. Three, two, one. Very squirrely. There's the recovery. Oh, it's a burnout. Stay away from it, everybody, because it's not deployed. It's coming down much faster than you think. It's falling backwards, which is good news. Oh, it's horizontally stable. That's good. It's very horizontally stable, and it's in the field. All right, this is the magnesium. This is the last rock of the day. It's the biggest one. It's quite fat um, and it has an E9. Um, so we're going to see how it goes. We think it's going to go 1200 feet. Should be quite a long ride up there. Let's see. Okay, final rocket. Three, two, one. I hope it deploys. Oh boy. Come on. Uh -oh, oh. oh, it did deploy. Woo! That went really high. Now let's see if it makes it back here. Or will it hit the trees? Oh, I don't think it's going to make it back. Maybe? What? No. no forest. Oh, there it is in the forest. Well, damn it. Yeah. <sighs>